everybody, this is Rat Hellcat back at you again with another cool video. Today in New Jersey, nice sunny day. Hope you're enjoying your day where you are. It is fantastic outside in the month of April. This is awesome, fantastic. Hopefully you're having a great day where you are. And let's get started. So you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. This is another Rowl Hellcat walk around. Just Rowl Hellcat walk around. We had the Dodge Durango Hellcat in the driveway and you know, we had to make a road trip to the dealership where I bought the Dodge Durango Hellcat at, and that was Ramsey Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Ramsey Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ramsey, New Jersey, and got to see my buddy, my friend, my sales rep, my man, Henry Knowles, Henry Knowles, shout out to Henry Knowles, shout out to Henry Knowles, he's my buddy, he's my man, he's the one that ordered and delivered my 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. So shout out to Henry Knowles. Thank you, buddy. And we got to see something fantastic, fantastic today at the dealership. He saw this, they special ordered it. They had two of them. And by the time I got there, they only had one left. That's how quickly this one sold. But you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. And for those of you that just saw the 90 Ram TRX video, this one's for you as well. This is the Rat Hellcat walk around video of the 2022 Ram TRX Ignition Edition. Yes, Ignition Edition. Ah, ah, ah. What a great vehicle. This is awesome. It's in that new Ignition orange color with all these cool limited edition features that are only limited to 800 units, 800, give or take 850. We don't know the final number yet because I think the original allotment was 800. I think they actually built maybe closer to 850. We're going to have to get the numbers. We don't have the numbers right now. If I do have the numbers by the time I'm posting this video, I'll put that in the description below and in the screen. But let's look at it this way. It was limited to about 800 units. And they ordered these things right at the beginning of when the configurator allowed the 2022s to be ordered. So if you're looking for a hydro blue or a white or a red, they were available at the same time as Ignition Edition. And Ignition Edition, I believe, sold out in about a matter of days. In fact, it might have been a matter of hours. But nonetheless, Ramsey was able to get two of them, and I was going to record both of them. By the time I arrived at the dealership, they only had one left. And unfortunately, unfortunately, by the time I'm putting this video out, that Ignition Edition is long gone. But in any case, we got to film it inside the showroom floor at Ramsey Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ramsey, New Jersey with Henry Knowles, my sales rep, and the experience of other vehicles that we got to do walk-arounds from even while we were there. But the whole point of going to the dealership was to see the Ignition Edition Ram TRX, but also to show them the Dodge Durango Hellcat because they hadn't seen it in a few months and a few of the mods I had done thus far, which you may or may not have seen yet. So without further ado, Let's stop talking, Rao. Stop talking. Let's get into the video of the walk around, the Rao Hellcat walk around of the Ram TRX Ignition Edition. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the walk around. I'll be back with you again after this video with final thoughts. Enjoy. Okay, so here it is, boys and girls, the Ram TRX Ignition. Ignition. In ignition orange, that's why they call it the Ram TRX Ignition. Special color for 2022. Yes, we are filming our first walk around of a 2022 vehicle, Hellcat powered. So we'll do a quick walk around. We'll go this way real quick. Get the front of the grill, looking menacing. It really looks great with the ignition orange color. Walk around to the side here. Special graphics. This is new graphics for 2022. And I think it's only specific to the ignition. Very crowded in the dealership today, so we have to be really quick here what we're going to be filming today. The TRX badge on the back really pops with the ignition orange. Again, this is at Ramsey Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Ramsey, New Jersey. Love the new TRX graphic on the side. These are the new machine face black wheels. 
part of the ignition package. I don't believe you can get this on any other package for 2022. You're just gonna go with the basic black or the beadlock capable rims. So yeah, this is really, really nice. Doesn't have the step rails on it, but it doesn't have the ram bar on it, but I'm sure you could add that as an accessory. This price on here is $92,125, which re when you think about it, it really isn't that bad. And I'll put the window sticker in the description. I'll put the window sticker in the description. I'll let you know where all the options are. But when you think about the two that we had reviewed before, the white and the hydro blue, those were pushing about 97,000. So it doesn't have the graphics on the hood, but you really don't need it with this. So you get your graphic here. And you have the black on the hood that really makes this pop on the ignition orange paint. Again, we'll do one more walk around the vehicle real quick, and then we'll go inside. Really, really sharp. I love that TRX. That really pops. I mean, if you got it in black, you wouldn't be able to see it. But if you got it in any other color, I'm not quite sure if this is unique only to the ignition. I'll put that in the description as well. But in any case, this is a rare bird. And I'm pleased because they're still making 2021s. If you remember, they're still making 21 Hellcats. They're making, still making the Durango Hellcat. As the, at the time of me filming this, they're still making Durango Hellcats, even though the order banks are closed. But this is the exterior. Now let's take a look at the interior. All right, hop into the interior here. So just real quick at a glance, which we're gonna be able to, you have the orange TRX embroidered in the black seats. These are black seats with the gray piping, but then instead of gray contrast stitching, it's got the orange, ignition orange contrast stitching. Looks really sharp, really nice. Same thing goes for the steering wheel, contrast stitching on the steering wheel only has 18 miles on it. Go ahead. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Door panel. You got more of the orange contrast stitching. You have suede insert here. I love how they mixed up both the suede and the leather. So this is nice leather wrapped on the top here. Leather wrapped on the door handle. But suede insert here. And then you have some type of fiber trim here, carbon carton. Now that would have been cool. They made this orange like they did with the red, special red interior. That would have been a really cool thing they could have done. Before we go inside, take a look at the back seats. In the back seats, the door panel is identical. You don't see the extra tweeter, but again, you get the Harmon carton in the back here, suede, leather wrapped carbon fiber piece here have more of the orange contrast stitching and yeah this is really nice no complaints here no complaints it's got the and actually this is a fun fact a little bit of an update TRXs don't come with a suede headliner. I may have mentioned that on a previous video, but this does have the panoramic sunroof, and I thought with the panoramic sunroof, you would get the suede headliner included, but there is no suede headliner. I don't think they even have it available for the TRX, so I apologize for that. Well, it's got special mats on here too. These mats are no joke. In fact, I'll sit in the back seat in a moment, but I really want to sit in the front seat first. So let's do that now. Let's jump in the front seat here. Take a look at what we got. Okay, we're now inside the TRX. So let's just go through some of the things that are really unique about this vehicle. Again, you have the leather wrap dash and the orange stitching is all over this thing. I really, really like the orange stitching throughout. You get the suede on the top here. This is really nice. You have the TRX badges here 
on the dashboard along with more contrast stitching. We'll probably hop in on the other side as well. This is really cool. You have the Ignition Edition TRX. And this plate also has orange accents, the Ignition orange accents. So you have your serial number, 702 horsepower, supercharged 6.2 liter Hemi V8. Really cool, really nice. I love the suede that they have on the armrest along with the orange contrast stitching here. The orange is throughout. That's a really cool accent color. If you're gonna get a black interior, there's no better accent color than the orange contrast stitching in this vehicle, at least. I would even accept it if it was available for the Durango Hellcat. In fact, if it were available in the Durango Hellcat, I would have gotten orange stripes. <laughs> Can you imagine getting black with ignition orange stripes and the orange contrast stitching throughout? That really would have been cool. So again, you have the Harman Kardon. Harman Kardon's all over this. You have the suede here, another suede piece here. And the other thing that I didn't mention before, you have your power outlet right on the top here. So if you ever have any type of electronics here, especially for me, being that I YouTube a lot on the dashboard, I would have liked to have had some type of power outlet right there. So you get more tweeters there. This is the only Zonk again. I don't know why they don't put TRX here. I mean, there is TRX in a lot of different places, but let's see. Let's open the door again. Yeah, it's a key fob, not the fit detected, but it's got 18 miles on it. It's really cool, really nice. You got your RAM, it's the 12 inch screen. Again, love hate on that one. It's it's a vertical screen versus horizontal. I'm not quite sure if I would have gone for that. It would have been cool if they could have designed this where it would have been a 12 inch screen going horizontal. That's what I would have liked. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, we have to show us our, our Easter eggs. So let's go open this again, move this out of the way. And then if I were to turn on the light, let's see if I can do that real quick. Hold on. Okay, so turn on the light and look what we got there. We had a person next to a TRX who is next to a, another TRX <laughs> eating a Raptor. This is the coolest thing that you could actually put. That's the coolest Easter egg that I think that could ever be in a vehicle. That is absolutely fantastic. And now with the light on, we can actually see a little bit better. Oh, wow. Didn't realize, I never really used this before. Interior shots with the light on. So actually, yeah, this is really nice. So this really highlights some of the things that we weren't able to highlight before. You have your, all your buttons here, auxiliary buttons for all the different uh, things that you would definitely add to the vehicle in terms of lighting this does have the tow package and it has the trailer guidance there it's got wireless charging with wireless apple carplay uh, you have some more buttons up the top really cool really nice now you can definitely see you have the dual panoramic sunroof i don't believe this will open let's see if i can get this to open no, it's not. This one, nothing's hooked up. Nothing's hooked up. So this is really cool. Yeah, let's take a look now. Oh, this is another thing. On this handle here, you got more orange contrast stitching. That's really cool. There's a lot of orange in this vehicle, but it's not overpowering. It really isn't. That's really nice. All right, so, and then you get your leather care guide there. This is really cool. I mean, I, I could sit in here all day. This is actually pretty comfortable. The leather seats on here are pretty grippy. So, so far, so good. But it is menacing and it is intimidating being that this is a big vehicle on the outside. But it doesn't feel that big on the inside. So, let's take a look at the back. We're going to go in the back seat now and see how that looks. Okay, now we're in the back seat. We didn't get a chance to do this with our last TRX walk around. So, now I'm in the back seat. And you can see again how you have even more orange contrast stitching. Oh, you have suede back here. Wow, they really did this interior up right. I mean, you have leather wrapped on the backs of the seats with, with Alcantara as well. And then you have all this orange contrast stitching, a nice deep pocket, not mesh. You have climate control. Well, you have vents here. You don't have climate control, but you have vents in the back. You have two cup holders. 
really nice. You have more of your USB, USB-C connectivity. It's got heated seats in the back, which is really cool. Oh, could that be ventilated seats? This is heated. These are ventilated in the back? This is awesome. I never knew that. Ventilated seats. So heated and cool seats in the back of a TRX. Not bad, not bad. Did not know that. Got more orange contrast stitching on the handles that are a must. This doesn't have step row, so it's a must to get into this thing. You needed, I needed to grab that handle. So got more orange contrast stitching. The only thing I probably would have added since I know this is not typically a bucket seat, it is a bench seat. And you have this, this should come down here and separate a little bit. So if you were gonna have the true bucket seats, now this is also nice, look at this. Suede, orange contrast stitching, dual cup holders. This is really sharp. But like I said before, even if this, this is a bench seat, which for all intents and purposes, I'm sitting in the middle seat I'm sitting and I'm totally comfortable. So this is, and look at all this leg room. I mean, look at my feet. Look at all the leg room you have back here. This is really, really nice. I mean, this has got more room in the back seat than the Durango does. So I can't complain about that at all. But like I said before, I think the TRX should have been put here. That's what I was gonna say before. They should have embroidered TRX in the backs of these seats. They could have done that very easily, so. Oh, you even have speakers back here. Wow, look at that. You have two speakers back here. So this makes for really good entertainment. There's no there's no TVs back here, and I don't think you can get TVs back here in the TRX. I'll have to look at the option list. I'll put it in the description. Can you get TVs back here? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'll check. I'll check for you for sure. All right. So this is the end of the interior of the tour. Too bad we can't get this thing running like we did with the other TRX. That's okay. If you want to go back and hear what a TRX sounds like, take a look at my other TRX walk around and you'll get, and I'm sure it'll sound exactly the same. All right. So without further ado, we're going to go into the outside of the vehicle again. We have to now look at the piece de resistance and you already know what the piece de resistance is. That is the, see what's under the hood. I'll see you under the hood in two seconds. All right. So now we're going to be looking under the hood of the Ram TRX ignition. Pop the hood, and here we go. Not much to see here. <laughs> yeah, you get your TRX on this big plastic cover. Yes, we know we have the Hellcat engine underneath, and it's there. And the Hellcat engine is definitely under there, tucked away, looking nicey nice. You get the Hemi orange valve covers, but for all intents and purposes, there's a lot of room back here. Or should I say, there's a lot of room up front. So look how deep, look how deep the compartment is. You could definitely have a lot of fun modifying this and not have to worry about getting all cramped up inside. And I've also seen some guys take this air box off. This is the air box here. And this is what the intake is for the air box, right? There's your intake for the air box. And I've seen people take these whole air boxes off, put the cold air intake on it, and then you can see the Hellcat engine. In fact, I don't know if you can see the Hellcat logo. I don't see that, but let's go see if the Raptor is still under here that's eating the, uh, the TRX. Of course it is. That's one of my favorite Easter eggs. Other than the one that's under the center console in the front, that's pretty cool. That is cool. That T-Rex is eating that Raptor up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, that's back on there. It's so much room under here. They even put the battery up front. It's not even in the back. Although there is no trunk on this, so there is no place you would put it. Maybe underneath the back seat, like you have in the Trackhawk. I even think in the Durango, the battery's underneath the back seat. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. I guess nothing much more to see here again. You can see that the supercharger's right there. There's less to see on this side. And I get a, get a, didn't get a chance to see that before, but one last time underneath. Supercharger. 
Hemi Orange doesn't need a valve, plastic valve cover because there's just so much plumbing down under here. There's just no place to put it. So this is why they put this big air box. This whole thing's an air box. So again, it's gonna get, this is functional by the way. So this intake right here is functional. It'll then come out through these two vents here and then through that and then through the plumbing that's underneath this, which I don't wanna take this all apart because after you lift this cover up, this is what the whole air box is. This is a huge air box. And I, I'm sure there's a way to maybe take some baffling out of this and make the supercharger whine even louder. So, so definitely, definitely, definitely that is cool beans. I don't think I put this on all the way. Yeah, this is on all the way. Yep, that's good. That's good, it's good, it's good. And that, my friends, is the Ram TRX ignition under the hood. So let's close the hood real quick. Close the hood. And there it is, folks. The Ram TRX Ignition 2022. This walk around is now complete. And without further ado, I'll meet you in the driveway. Final thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, we got this. Frostbite scat pack coming in the house. Love the wide body. Huh. This will be a two for one special. So we just started doing the walk around for the Torred Scat Pack. We might as well continue it with the Frostbite right next to it. Oh yeah. Frostbite Scat Pack. You get the man, the myth, the legend, Phil driving the vehicle. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video of the 2022 Ram TRX Ignition Edition. Yes, the Ignition Edition. And we're going to be talking about it right now in Final Thoughts Time, Final Thoughts Time, Final Thoughts Time, Final Thoughts Time. Yes. The 2022 Ram TRX. Ah, awesome vehicle, awesome vehicle, awesome vehicle. I was able to see one as they came out to the showroom floor. It only made over a little over 800 of these Ram TRXs in the special color. It wasn't just the color. It was all the different things that a Ram TRX Special Edition has, which is awesome. It starts with the TRX Level 2 Equipment Group. But in addition to that, you get a lot of cool things that you normally wouldn't get in any other level two trim package. So it, again, it's the ignition edition. It's exterior's ignition orange. And in the interior, I thought it was ignition orange interior uh, stitching and graphics, but it's, they call it copperhead. Copperhead is the color. So copperhead, special carbon fiber, copperhead and orange stitching on the seats embroidered TRX on the back of the seats, special copperhead embroidered mats or colored mats with TRX on it, had heated and cooled both front and rear seats. The rear seats were cool. Didn't know that at first, but the rear seats are also cool. Heated and cooled. Lots of room back there. I was thoroughly impressed. Now, as you know, when we first did the 2021 TRX walk around, with the three TRXs that Ramsey had, the red, white, and blue one. Haven't already seen that video, go check it out. But when we saw that, I didn't get actually to sit in anything but the driver's seat. Never got to sit in the back seat, didn't have time. But in the Ignition Edition, when I got the time to sit in the front and the back, and the back seat is pretty big. More room than a Dodge Durango Hellcat, more room than the Trackhawk. A lot more room than I thought because the vehicle is so big and the cabin is so big. The leg room is plentiful in the Ignition Edition or in any of the Ram TRXs that 
I, I guess this is typical for any of the Ram 1500s. It's, I'm new to the game when it comes to the Ram pickups in terms of actually doing a full review like that. Other than the one that we did, the, the Longhorn. If you haven't already seen that video, I did a, a walk around and review of a 2021 Ram Longhorn Edition. And in that vehicle, I didn't feel like the back seat was all that big, other than the fact that it was bigger than the Dodge Ram Hellcat. But I was very impressed, very impressed with not only the amount of room that you have in the TRX, but also the quality, the leather the interior. It smells intoxicating. The leather interior in that vehicle smelled so, so good, but it also looked good. Looks great, black with orange. You would never think that it would look that good on a pickup truck, but let me tell you, it looked good, smelled good, it was awesome. In addition to that, it had the special graphics, the TRX graphics on the outside, had a special machine face rims that are only available on ignition edition. I thought they would have brought those wheels and carried over those wheels to the other 22 model TRXs. Also the graphics on the outside, I thought they would carry that over, but they didn't do it. This is a special edition. It was sort of like the launch edition. Everyone was into the launch edition of the TRX back when it came out with that gray color. But this, my friends, this is a special edition that tops it. The Ignition Edition, oh my God, it was awesome. Great experience at Ramsey Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Thank you. I want to give a shout out to Ramsey Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the experience. If you aren't able to get one, this is the next best thing to owning one, I think, is to experience a nice walk around of the vehicle. Spent a lot of time with it, both inside, both outside, under the hood, all those cool things. We got to see some of those. Famous Easter eggs that the Ram T-Rex is known for. So again, thank you, Ramsey, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, for allowing me to record the video. Thank you to Henry Knowles. In fact, while we were there, we also did a few more walk around videos. We did a Grand Wagoneer, we did a Charger Hellcat, we did a Challenger Hellcat, we did a Scat Pack. So we have a lot of cool videos coming up in the not too distant future. We have a lot of walk arounds that we've done at Ramsey that we haven't put out yet and I have to put those videos out because we have a lot of them. Plus, special treat, special treat. Henry and I, after doing all those walk-arounds, at the end of the day, at the end of the night, we got to do a nice cool ride in the Durango Hellcat. So, all that, it was a wonderful day at Ramsey. We got to see the Ram TRX Ignition Edition. Awesome experience, awesome vehicle. I guess that's it. So with all that being said, with all that being said, those are my final, final, final thoughts. So with all that being said, thanks again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you indeed enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up. I truly would appreciate it. Also, put a comment or two, put a comment or two, put a comment or two. Or how did you like the Ignition Edition Ram TRX? How did you like it? Put it in a comment. Are you looking to get a Ram TRX? Do you have a Ram TRX? Do you have an Ignition Edition? If you have an Ignition Edition, please put in a comment. Let me know how much you paid for it. I'm dying to know. Did you pay sticker? Did you pay under? Did you pay over? I don't know. Put in a comment. Let my viewers know, let everyone know, if you can share how much you paid for it and how much you're enjoying it. So if you have an Ignition Edition, please, I'd love to hear from you. If you have a Launch Edition, I'd love to hear from you as well. If you have a TRX already, I'd love to hear from you as well. Definitely put a comment. And you know, you know, you know, I always respond to my comments. I enjoy reading your comments. I always respond to my comments. Definitely, definitely. Put in a comment too. We'd love to hear from you. Also, share the video with everyone you know. Share, share, share. Share the video. Share the video with anyone you know that wants to see a more detailed review and walk around and review of the Ignition Edition Ram TRX. If you do, you know somebody is interested in it because we just did the 90 TRX video and that we really, really, really did well. A lot of shares on that one. Same group of people share this video with everyone you know because we did some cool, epic Ram TRX content. The 90 TRX video, and now this one, Ignition Edition. But definitely share the video with everyone you know. They would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Definitely would appreciate it. And last but not least, if you haven't or subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I know there are a lot of new people looking at my channel now. Please subscribe to the channel. Definitely would appreciate it. We have over 900 subscribers. So excited. Get very close to a thousand subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification. 
be part of the Rattle Hellcat family. We have a ton more videos and content left to share with you. It's all about my 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. We have tons of mods that we've already done that we have videos coming out very, very soon. I also have a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk that we're going to be doing more riding videos, more modifications, more comparison videos. Durango Hellcat versus Trackhawk videos are coming. We have more Rattle Hellcat walkarounds, more Rattle Hellcat reviews, more cool content coming to the channel in 2022. So definitely Hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification, and you'll be notified when the next video comes out from Ralph Hellcat. Thank you. All that being said, with all that being said, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So with all that being said, this video is now coming to a close. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely enjoy the rest of your day. It's a nice sunny day in New Jersey, even though it's Oh, it's windy. Probably can't tell it because I protected the camera from the wind noise, but definitely hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are. Thank you again for watching. Be safe out there. Be safe, be safe, be safe. Peace to all of you. Peace, peace, peace to all of you. Peace, peace, peace to everyone, not only in the States, but all around the world. A lot of things going on in the world right now that are very sad. War is happening. We don't want war. We only want peace, 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 peace. And I'm going to do my best to share that peace with you. And we always, if you haven't already subscribed and you're new to the channel, we always end these videos with a peace out. We always do it SRT Mush style. So here we go. Let's do it. I'm going to do it right now. Peace, 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 peace. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe out there. Be safe, be safe, be safe. Peace to all of you, and we'll catch you, we'll catch you on the next video. We have so much good, great content coming for the Rat Hellcat channel in 2022. Definitely be part of the family and subscribe. I definitely, definitely, definitely would appreciate it. All this great content coming, and you'll be part of the family and enjoying it every step of the way. And I'm looking forward to having you join me on this journey. More Dodge Durango Hellcat content coming. More Jeep Grand Cherokee track art coming. More walk around. More reviews. Lots of content. Lots of fun. Lots of shenanigans. We got some more. We got car show season coming up. We got car shows. We're going to do some drag racing this year. We're going to do more side by side comparisons. Track walk versus Durango Hellcat. All of this is going to be happening in 2022. So that'll be happening on the next few videos coming up. So thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we're going to end this video with one last piece. Here we go. One, two, three. Woo! Thanks again, thanks again, thanks again. Peace. I'm Artie Show Jr. I'm Edgar Chavez. What's up, everyone? My name is Corey Matthews. I am the biggest Dodge fan. Everybody calls me Speedy. I'm Howie. I'm Jamie Heath. Third generation Mopar. I'm your uncle Hellcat. I'm just here to become Dodge's chief donut maker.